Game 4 of the round 1 is here. The Bells have a 2-1 series lead over the Blue Sox. They're calling for rain later today. We'll have to see if they can get this game in. The wind's blowing left to right at 10 miles per hour. We're ready to get started. Margaret Berger gets the call for the Blue Sox. He's 16 and 16 with a 2.22 ERA. Opponents have a .229 batting average against him. Berger is third in ERA in the FBL at 2.22, fourth in strikeouts with 138, and second in innings with 311.2. Here comes Madeline English. He's hitting .226 this year. With no home runs and 27 RBI. The windup. And the delivery from Berger. The fastball is in there for strike one. Berger delivers. The swing. Long fly ball. Carrying to deep left. Jockham back on it. And he makes the catch. Edith Perlick is at the plate. He's hitting .291 this year. With two home runs and 42 RBI. Here's the pitch. Perlick swings. Lined solidly. To short center field. It falls in for a hit. Perlick is on at first with one out. Berger from the stretch. The pitch. The runner going. Very low. A ball. Baker comes up throwing. Bad throw. It sails into the outfield. Perlick to third. The batter is Sophie Grace. He is third in RBI with 68. From the stretch. Berger is set. The 2-1. Swung on. A little jam shot. To short left field. Jockham on the run. And he reaches up to snag it. Eleanor Dapka steps in. He is the leader in home runs with 12 and the RBI leader with 76. Berger kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. A strikeout for Berger. And no RBI for Dapka's. That's the inning. One hit and one error. But the Bells don't cash in. Taking the hill for the Bells is Mary Nesbitt. He's 26 and 10 with a 1.90 ERA. Opponents are batting .212 against him. Nesbitt is first in wins in the FBL with 26, first in innings with 327.0, and first in ERA at 1.90. At the plate is Josephine D'Angelo. He's hitting .238. With two home runs and 26 RBI. Nesbitt is ready. Into the windup. The pitch. Low. 1 and 0. The pitch. Ball 4. And the Blue Sox have a base runner. From the stretch. The pitch. Floor right turns to bunt. And makes contact. Out toward the hill. Nesbitt fields it. Fires it over to wind at second. And he's out. Good job by Nesbitt fielding that bunt. Nesbitt sets. The 1-1 pitch. Floor right is on the move. It's a pitch out ball too. The throw to second. Safe. There's one out. Two and one is the count. Nesbitt works from the stretch. The pitch. Jockham with a swing. High hopper back up the middle. Wind there to field it. The throw over to first. And Jockham is retired. That's the second out of the inning. To third goes floor right. That will bring up the second baseman Stefani. He is second in home runs with 6, 5th in runs scored with 63, and 3rd in stolen bases with 86. 1 to count on the hitter. Nesbitt has the sign. Watches Floor Reich. 
Here's the pitch. Stefani swings. Hit high in the air. In foul territory, right side. It might be playable. After it McGuire. And he's got it. Side retired. One walk in the inning, but that's it. Claire Schillas starts the inning off. He's batting .247 this year. With no home runs and 34 RBI. The pitch. Schillas swings. A chopper. Outdoor short. Schroeder gloves it. The throw to first. It's short and in the dirt. And Hageman can't dig it out. Schillas will take second base. As the throw ends up in the seats. It's Dorothy wind up to bat. He's hitting .240 this year. With no home runs and 31 runs batted in. One to the count. Berger stretches. Glances back at Shilas. Kicks and deals. A check swing by wind. He thinks he checked in time. But the man in blue thinks otherwise. The at bat is over for wind. Dorothy McGuire steps in. He's batting .237 this year. With no home runs and 25 runs batted in. The count is 1 and 1 with 1 out. Burger stretches. Checks Shilas. Kicks and deals. Swung on. Hit weakly in the air. Out to short right field. And McGuire has a base hit. Over I to third goes Shilas. How much are programs? The one strike pitch. Swung on. Soft pop block. Outdoor short. Schroeder is on the move. And he closes the glove on it. Two outs. Here's the left-handed hitting pitcher. Mary Nesbitt. He's a .250 hitter. Hitting at a clip of .206 against the blue. 7 for 34. The pitch from Berger. Swung on. A fastball style. To the gap in deep right center. D'Angelo hurries after it. He reaches up. But he won't get there. Shilas comes in to score. McGuire moves to third. On his way home is McGuire. He scores. The Nesbitt double scores too. The Bells now lead to it. Set to hit is Madeline English. He's hitless to this point. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That retires the side. Two runs on two base hits, one error. A runner left on. The Bells jump out in front to him. Here's Mary Baker. He's hitting .274 this year. With no home runs and 37 RBI. The wind up, the pitch. Baker swings. Hit up in the air. Outdoor deep center. Tracking it is Shilas. And he flags it down. Here's Johanna Hageman. He's hitting .240 this year. With no home runs and 51 RBI. He's hit .230 against Racine in 122 at-bats. The pitch. Swung on. Hit in the air. To left. It has some carry. Back on it is Perlick. And he brings it in. Here's Dorothy Schroeder. He's hitting .163 this year. With one home run and 23 RBI. Nesbitt gets the sign. Brings it. Schroeder swings. Grounded hard. Toward short. Wind has it. The throw to first. In time to retire Schroeder. Side retired in the home second. Nothing across for South Bend. The score is unchanged to O'Bells. Perlick is up. The pitch home. Swung on. A hot shot on the ground. Up the middle. And it's into center field. Big turn. But Perlick will hold at first. The Bells leading to a Burger sets. Checks on Perlick. Kicks and deals. Perlick is on his way to second. Kureis lets it go. Strike one. Baker throws. But hot. 
and much too late to get Perlick. The hitter is Grace. A one on Grace. Berger is set. Brings it home. Grace with a swing. Bouncing ball. Toward short. Fielded by the shortstop Schroeder. The throw to first. In time to get Grace, one down. Over to third goes Perlick. Eleanor Dapus comes up to bat. Berger struck him out his last time up. Berger with the pitch. Dapus swings. Hit on the ground. Toward second. The second baseman Stefani has it. Then he flubs it. Dapus gets on base on the E4. Perlick scores. Claire Shillas stands at the plate. From the stretch. The three to pitch. The runner going. Shillas swings. Weak fly ball. Into shallow center. Here comes D'Angelo. But he can't make the catch. It gets down for a base hit. Dapkus to second. Over to third, Dapkus. from the stretch. The 3 1 delivery. Wind swings. Hit hard. To deep left field down the line. Jotham at third. The ball drops in. Dapkus comes home. Shalas takes third. Shalas on his way home. Jotham gathers it in. The throw made toward home. Schroeder with the relay. Shalas slides. And he's out. Wind knocks in one with a double. The score is now 4 0. Bells. Dorothy McGuire steps in. Wind on second for Racine. Two down. Berger comes set. Now the pitch. Swing by McGuire. Hard shot on the ground. In the hole, right side. And it scoots past the diving Stefani. McGuire rounds first. But scampers back quickly. Taking third is Wind. Wind sprints for home. Here's the throw toward home. Baker turns and applies the tag. And he's safe. Taking second is McGuire. McGuire knocks in one with a single. The Bells add to their lead. It's 5-0. Here's Dorothy Hunter. He's 0 for 1. Having flied out in the second. 5-0, Bells. As they bat in the top of the third. The stretch, the pitch. Hunter swings. Put in the air. To center. Hustling D'Angelo. And he pulls it in. The Racine third is over. Three runs on four hits for Racine. The Bells stretch their lead to 5-0. Here's Mabel Holly, the third baseman. He's hitting .157. With no home runs and 30 RBI. Wind up by Nesbitt. And he slings it. Holly swings. Slashed over to first. Hunter fields it. And just walks it to the bag for the out. Margaret Berger comes to the plate. He's batting .229. With no home runs and 5 RBI. He's gone 8 for 32 against the Bells. A .250 average. To do on the way. Strike 3 called. Nesbitt gets his first strikeout. D'Angelo settles in. The pitch. Swung on. Grounded to the left side. English plays it. He can't make the transfer. Charge English with an error. He should have made that play. Lois Florike is set to hit. Hunter holds the runner at first. The pitch. D'Angelo is on his way to second. Florike with a swing. A high fly ball. Down the line to deep left. After it is Perlick. Near the track. And he reaches up to make the catch. Side retired. The Blue Sox get nothing and leave one. No change in the score. The Bell's still up. 5-0. Stepping in is Nesbitt. Back in the second inning. With runners on first and third. He hit a two-run double. Berger into the windup. He kicks and fires the two to pitch. Nesbitt swings. Chopper to short. Schroeder fires across the diamond to Hageman for the out. 
and Nesbitt will circle back to the dugout. That will bring up English. He's still looking for his first hit. 2 1, 1 out. The wind up and the pitch. English swings. Bouncer to the right side of the mound. Hageman lunges to his right. And makes the stop. He tosses to Berger covering the bag. And he's safe. English uses his speed to leg that one out. Edith Perlick stands in. One on, one out. Check of the runner. And now the pitch. English breaks for second. Ball one outside. Baker drills it to second. He's out. Baker was right on target with the throw. Three one pitch coming up. Here it is. Ball four. Perlick draws the walk. Now Kurei spats. He's had two chances without a hit. 5-0 the score, the Blue Sox trailing the bells. The set, the pitch. Perlick, running. The fastball misses outside. The throw to second. Bad throw, it sails into the outfield. Moving to third is Perlick. Berger sends it in. Kurei swings. Flared. Out towards second. Stefani ranges over. And he snags it. Side retired. The Bells get nothing and strand one. The Bells still have the lead, 5-0. Jockham is up to bat. He's gone 0 for 1. 2-2 on Jockham. The wind up, the pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's out on strikes. Nesbitt records his second strikeout. The next hitter is Stefani. The South Bend second baseman. Nesbitt winds. Delivers the three to pitch. Stefani swings. Fly ball. Headed for the gap in right center. Dapkus gives chase. And he hauls it in. Here's Mary Baker. He flied out in the second. The one strike pitch. Swung on. Hit on the ground to wind. He grabs it and sends it to first to sit down Baker. The fourth inning's over for South Bend. A scoreless inning for the Blue Sox. Still 5-0 in favor of the Bells. Stepping in is Eleanor Dapkus. Berger delivers. Swing and a miss at a sinker for strike three. Claire Shilas digs in. Berger starts his wind up. The 1-1 pitch. Swung on. Hard hit ground ball. Toward the hole, left side. Up with it Holly. The throw to first. And that retires Shilas. The batter up is Dorothy Wind. With runners on first and third in the third. He hit a run scoring double. Bases empty, two out. Berger steps on the rubber. Winds and fires. Wind swings at it. Hit weakly down the third baseline. Berger moves to glove it. The throw to first. And he's safe. Wind picks up a hit. Getting set to hit is McGuire. Wind on at first for Racine with two gone. The stretch, the pitch. Wind takes off for second. Swing by McGuire. Line shot. Toward right field. Floor Reich hustles toward it. And he makes the catch. That's the inning. No runs on one hit, no errors. One left on. The Bells still hold the lead, 5-0. The right-handed batting Hageman gets set to hit. 1-1 one, one is the count. Nesbitt with the wind-up. He rocks back. Wheels and fires. Hageman swings. Hit in the air. Into deep left center. Chilas sprints back. But it sails just over his head. It'll bounce to the wall. Hageman digs for second. Shilas gets to the ball. The relay. Hageman with a head first slide. And he's safe. Hageman a double. Hageman breaks up the no hit bit. The right handed batting Dorothy showed up to bat. The catcher McGuire sets his target. Nesbitt fires. 
swung on. A firm ground ball. Toward second base. Wind breaks left. And has it near the bag. The throw is made to first. And Schroeder is out, one gone. Taking third is Hageman. The right-handed batting Holly stands in. Nesbitt rocks and delivers. The swing. Grounded to the left side. Wind comes up with it. The throw to first. In time to retire Holly. Crossing the plate is Hageman. The right-hand hitting pitcher Berger is next. The pitch. Berger with a swing. Hit on the ground. First base side. Up with it is Hunter. He'll hustle to the base. And Berger is out. That retires the side. The Blue Sox pick up a run. South Bend now trails Racine, 5-1. Hunter due up first. Back in the third inning. He flied out to the center fielder. Which makes him 0 for 2. A 1 count. Leg kick and the pitch. The swing. Lifted. Toward the alley in right center. Floor right goes back. And he'll reach up to catch it. Up to bat is Nesbitt. He's 1 for 2 this game. The count is 2 on Nesbitt. The wind up and the pitch. Nesbitt swings. High pop fly. On the infield. Schroeder is on the move. And he grabs it. Two away. That will bring up English. 0-2 oh, count. The wind up. The pitch. English swings. Hit on the ground. Toward the hole. Right side. And it's into right field. English is around first. But he'll hold on right there. The right-handed hitting Edith Perlick is next. Pitch on the way. Taking off is English. At the knees with a fastball. To make it one and one. Baker whips on the throw. He lost his grip on the ball. From the stretch. The 2-1 offering. The swing. A slow, leaden roller. Toward third. Holly in to get it. He sends it to first. And he's out. Good play at both ends. The side's retired. No runs a hit, no errors. A runner left on. The bells remain in front, 5-1. The leadoff hitter for South Bend is Josephine D'Angelo. 1-1 pitch coming. Swung on. Hard ground ball. Left side in the hole. And it rolls into the outfield. D'Angelo makes the turn at first. But he'll hang on right there. How much are programs? Now floor right comes up. He's 0 for 2 today. D'Angelo at first with nobody out. Check of the runner D'Angelo. And now the pitch. Floor right showing bunt. He makes contact. Left side. Moving in English gloves it. The hard throw to first. And he's out. D'Angelo takes second. The right-handed batting Jockham is next. Nesbitt checks D'Angelo. The stretch and the 0-1 pitch. Swung on. Sharp line drive. Out to right center. Dapkins hurries. He reaches for it. But he can't get to it. It's down. Dapkins follows it to the wall. D'Angelo crosses the plate. Dapkins will hit the cutoff man. As Jockham glides into second with the double. Jockham with an RBI double. The Here score is 5-2. The bell's on top. Runner on second with one out. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Nesbitt comes to the belt. He delivers. Jockham takes off. Outside. Ball one. McGuire fires to third. And Jockham is safe. He got a great jump. Here's the cleanup hitter, Margaret Stefani. Here's the one to pitch. Stefani swings. Knuckleball hit in the air. Toward short center. In quickly is Shilas. And he reaches up to glove it. Mary Baker in the box now. The 3 0 offering. It misses outside. Baker walks. Oh 
two out in the home half of the sixth. From the stretch. Nesbitt deals. Baker is running. First pitch strike. McGuire fires to second. He throws it away. It's into the outfield. Scoring is Jocka. Baker takes third. Johanna Hageman the batter. One for two. With a double in the fifth. The offering from Nesbitt. Swung on. Line. To shallow right field down the line. It's in there. A base hit for Hageman. Baker scores on the play. Hageman with an RBI single. The Blue Sox draw closer. The score is 5 4. The pitch. Hageman on the move. And that one's low. Throw to second. Is hot. And the runner beats it. Dorothy Schroeder is next. Here's the pitch. Cut on and missed 4 strike 3 on a knuckle ball. That's 3 Ks for Nesbitt. The inning is over. The Blue Sox get 3. The Blue Sox trim the lead. It's 5-4. Here's Sophie Kureis. The pitch on its way. Swung on. Line. Near first. Hageman is there. And he grabs it. That's a good play. Dapkus hits next. He is hitless so far. One run separates these two teams here in the top of the seventh. Bert appears in. Gets a sign he likes. Lines up and delivers. Dapkus swings. Lifted. To shallow left field. Here comes Jockham. And he reaches up for the catch. Set to hit player Shilas. Shilas waiting on the 1 2. Here it is. Swung on. Hit softly in the air. On the infield, right side. After it is Stefani. And he's got it. That's the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. The Bells maintain their lead, 5 4. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the seventh inning stretch. Leading off for South Bend in the 7th is Mabel Holly. 3-1 pitch coming up. Nesbitt winds and fires. Ball 4. Holly walks to lead off the inning. That will bring up the pitcher Berger. The first and third basemen are drawn in. Check of the runner. The pitch. Berger shows bunt. He makes contact. Out toward the hill. Nesbitt fields it. Tosses across to second. And they nail him. Perfectly played bunt by Nesbitt. Here's D'Angelo. Nesbitt has the sign. The two to delivery. Swing and a miss D'Angelo, for the strikeout. Mary Nesbitt notches strikeout number four. Now Lois floor right. Nesbitt from the stretch. The 1-1 pitch. Swung on. Popped up. Outdoor short. Wind on the move. And he has it. The inning's over. Just a walk for South Bend, nothing more. The bell's still in front, 5-4. Here's Dorothy Wind. He's 2 for 3 so far this game. The catcher Baker sets his target. Burger deals. Wind swings. One hop the lip. Between third and short. 
Shrugger dives. But he can't find the handle. He won't force a throw. Wind reaches with an infield hit. Next up is Dorothy with White. He's two for three, both hit singles. Nobody out in the top of the eighth. From the stretch, the pitch. The runner going. Strike called, a pass ball. Baker rifles it to second. And wind is out. Run at your own risk on Baker. Two on the way. McGuire swings. A little stick and poke to left. And McGuire is on with a base hit. Jockham tries to scoop it. But it goes right through his legs. Dorothy McGuire ends up at second base. Here's Dorothy Hunter. Fly out to floor right his last at bat. Zero for three for the game. Runner in scoring position for Racine. Berger leans down for the side. Sets. And deals. Hunter swings. There's a ground ball. Past the mound. Fielding it is Schroeder. The throw to first. And Hunter is out. Advancing to third McGuire. There's two out. The stretch and the pitch. Pass ball. Baker hurries to retrieve it. McGuire scores. Here comes Mary Nesbitt. His batting line, one for three. Berger winds up. The two to pitch. Nesbitt swings. Sinker hit on the ground. In the hole wide of first. But it finds some daylight and gets through into right. Nesbitt makes the turn at first. But he Come thinks on, better of it. One-one count. Berger comes to the set. And here's the pitch. Swung on. Hit sharply on the ground. Toward second. And it'll reach the outfield. D'Angelo will hustle over to it. Nesbitt to second. Nesbitt is going for third. D'Angelo fetches the ball. The throw sails into third. Nesbitt slides. Close but safe. English takes second. Perlick adjusts his helmet. Now he's ready to hit. He's two for three. Runners in scoring position with two out. The stretch. Berger looks at the runners. And brings it home. Perlick swings. Bouncing ball. Pass Berger. Schroeder dives. And spears it. Back to his feet. The throw over to Hageman. And he's out by half a step. Good off balance throw by Schroeder. The side is retired. One run on four base hits. One error. Two runners left on. The Bells now lead the Blue Sox, 6-4. Jockum at bat. He brought home one with a double his last time up. The pitch. Swung on. Sharp rounder. Into the hole, left side. He extends. And it gets through into left field. A wide turn around first. But Jockum holds up now. Margaret Stefani is up for South Bend. Now the pitch. Stefani swings at it. Lazy fly ball to center. Drifting to it, she lasts. And he puts it away. Batting is Mary Bigger. The count is 0 and 1. One out. Nesbitt on the rubber. From the stretch. He brings it home. Baker swings. Sky high pop up. On the infield. Right side in foul territory. It might be playable. Giving chase is Hunter. And he snags it. McGuire puts down the sign. Here's the pitch. Hageman swings. Here's a grounder. To the left side. Wind grabs it. 
short throw to second. And they got him. That retires the side. Nothing on a hit for South Bend. The score is still 6-4, Bells over the Blue Sox. Substitution. On the mound for the Blue Sox right-hander Ruth Bourne. Batters have hit .260 against the right-hander. Here's Sophie Correz. Bourne to the rubber. The wind-up and the pitch. High and outside, ball one. The kick by Bourne. The one-two. Correz jabs at it. But he misses for strike three. Eleanor Dapku steps in to face Bourne. His fly out to Jockham in short left. Back in the seventh inning. As Eleanor at 0 for 4. Bourne pumps. Twists. And throws. The swing. Grounded. Toward the mound. Schroeder loves it. The throw to first. And Dapku's is out. Claire Schillas steps into the box. Claire is 1 for 4. Here's the pitch. Chilas swings. Grounder. To the hole, right side. Hageman fields it. He'll rush to the base. And Chilas is out. That retires the side. No runs, hits, or errors. And nobody left on base. The score is still 6-4, Bells. The Bells and the Blue Sox go to the bottom of the ninth. Here's Dorothy Schroeder to lead it off for South Bend. He was a strikeout victim in the sixth. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Rolled. Toward the hole, left side. English fields it. The throw to first. And Schroeder is out. Here's Mabel Holly. Last time up in the seventh he walked. The pitch from Nesbitt. Holly swings. Grounded to the left side of the diamond. Wind fields it. The throw to Dan Oser. And he's out. Substitution. That will bring up McLean. 0 .000 his average as a pinch hitter. Nobody on, two down. From the wind up. Nesbitt deals. Knuckleball at the knees, a strike.
The count is 2 and 2. Nesbitt from the wind up. The pitch. McLean swings. Hit weakly to the right side. Charging, Dan Oser. Then he muffs it. That gives the Blue Sox a new lease on life. Nesbitt throws the 1 2. D'Angelo swings. The grounder. By the mound up the middle. And it's through and into center field. Chilas is out there to field it. Taking second is McLean. Now Lois floor right. He popped out back in the seventh. Nesbitt toes the rubber. Kicks and fires. Floor right swings. And he hits it on the ground. Towards second. Kureti spears it. He unloads to first. And floor right is out. That's your ball game. The Bells take this one, 6-4. Racine wins the round one. Racine wins the round one. Racine wins the round one. Your fictional baseball league champion is the Racine Bells. What an incredible accomplishment. Banners fly forever.